everybody, I'm Point Jolly Roger. Bring your motorboat alongside, mate. Well, it's my favorite niece. What a pleasant surprise. Climb aboard, Scoop. Thanks, Uncle Pat. <coughs> captain, Captain, I thought I heard Scoop, it's you. It's so spectacular to see you again. It's good to see you too, Sissy Seagull. Where's my friend, Princess Pirate? I'm right over here, Scoop. Welcome aboard. Thanks, Princess. Are Peanut and Pixie around? Peanut, Pixie, look who's here. Hi, Scoop. Hi, Pixie Pirate. Don't forget about me. Don't worry, Peanut. I can never forget about you. What brings you to the Jolly Roger, Scoop? I'm writing an article for the school newspaper about the secret of America's greatness, and I'm not really sure I know what it is. Do you think you and the crew could help me? Sure, we'd love to. How can we help? Mom said you were taking the crew to see the Statue of Liberty today. If I could go along, I'm sure I could get some great ideas for my article. It just so happens that we're sailing into New York Harbor right now. Uncle Patch, there she is, the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? beautiful Uncle Pat, look up in the sky. There's a funny looking hot air balloon floating its way. That balloon has a castle ears. Kind of like a mouse. Do you see anyone on board that balloon, Scoop? I think I see a couple of people. No, they're not people. It's a rat and a mouse. And that mean old rat is being that cute little mouse over the head with a great big stick. The oh, poor dear. I wonder what they're doing <coughs> up there. Let me get you, Master Dumbin. Bookie, bookie. Ooh, there. Ooh, the pain in my head. We are dropping too fast. If you don't learn how to operate this vessel balloon immediately, we are going to drown in the ocean. I order you to save my life. Snell. Bookie, bookie. Ooh, that hurts so bad. Do I have your permission to save my own life also? No, you selfish master moron! Bonkin' Bonkin? Now do something. Do anything. Head for that chip over there. Bonkin' Bonkin? Ooh, okay, okay. Listen, get the radio message coming from my great leader, <coughs> the Big Cheese. That's in Vulcan! That's in Vulcan! Will you lose Scott Vulcan a little bit or not forget the secret message? You bet, Big Cheese! Where's the voice of the Big Cheese coming from, Limbega? I think the radio is in your left shoe, boss. That's in Vulcan! You ought to take the great Vulcan and time machine and travel back to six different locations in my history. Your mission is, is to discover the secret of America's greatness so we can steal them. You see, we are going to destroy America and make Bogenland the greatest nation on the earth. Oh, let's on Bogen. First, you must find some unsuspecting Americans to go with you on the time machine. We'll get you to just the right places. You're bad, Big Cheese! The time machine has already been programmed to make our trips very short. See, the secret weapon is already on its way to destroy America. Our instruction is clear. You're bad, Big Cheese. I command you both to lovingly sing the Bokin Land National Anthem. Ready, sing the year. Bokin Land, Bokin Land, Bokin Land forever. Bokin, <laughs> Bokin. Ooh, that song, it drives me bonkers. My missus, my missus is complete. Now, quickly, throw all the ordinance of this communication. I order you to eat the radio. But Big Cheese, the radio is in my shoe. Do you question my orders? Never, Big Cheese. Very well, eat the shoe. Oh, and out there. Never, you had the Big Cheese eating my shoe. But, boss. Book it, book it. <laughs> okay, boss. Ooh, one of my favorites. Filet of soul. <laughs> <laughs> Never the balloon and mouse is out of control. Uncle Pat, that hot air balloon is going to crash into the Jolly Roger. Hit the deck under the lifeboat. I'm going to fade. Never get your wish, Schnitzel. Book it, book it. Off the lever. Ah! 
A horn makes that was kind of a rough landing, wasn't it? That was exactly the way I planned it. Who is the head walker of this ship? Well, I'm the captain, if that's who you're looking for. You will have to do. My name is Joel Ada Ferretenbunken, and this is my audible assistant, Comrade Ludwig von Libiga. Here, Libiga, smile and say cheese. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bucket, bucket! I did not give you permission to say hello. Oh, why do you keep hitting her with that that thing? This is not a thing. This is my bucket stick. The symbol of my authority. Now listen closely. I have been instructed to take a group of slaves, a uh, volunteers, back into the time machine to visit six different locations in American history. My mission is to steal us, study the secrets of America's greatness. I order you to supply me with an expert guide to choose the locations. I got an A minus in US history and I'd love to go. Besides, it would really help me with my article too. I don't know, Scoop, it sounds more like a really big responsibility. And I think it is. The Statue of Liberty just called. Boss, the great big statue can't come with us. I don't even think we could fit our big toe inside the time machine. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I brought my shrinking Nazi gun with me. And Bonkia Lad, where's this gun street comrade to get big ideas? Let's see if it will work on Lady Liberty. Oh. Lady Liberty is getting smaller. It's it's working. Now she's the same size as as Captain Patch. Well, is everyone ready to start the tour? Where's the time machine? Ooh, I was afraid someone would ask. It's hidden in Liberty's front too. One quick pull with these. Lion, let's watch what happens. Hold still, you massive chicken. <laughs> oh, my tooth! <coughs> Look, mates, his tooth is getting bigger. It sure doesn't look like a tooth now. Yes! Here it is, the one and only great bucket letter, I mean the great American time machine. Look at all those lights and buttons and wheels and whistles. We better hurry, boss. Remember, the secret weapon is on the way. <clears throat> Quickly, hurry into the time machine. Where are we going first, Lady Liberty? Let's see now. Why don't we start back at the very beginning? Let's travel to the year 1492. Here we go, 1492 it is. Whoa! Santa Maria, Pita, Mira. Who are you? Uh, my name is Captain Pat, and this is my crew. Welcome, friends, welcome. <coughs> my name is Capitan, never quit to Chris. At your service. Won't you join me for a meet the bog? She's around like the wood, you know? <laughs> oh, that's a too bad. I was just getting ready to discover Columbus. Columbus? Yes, that's what I'm going to name the new world. How do you like it? I, I don't know. It sounds more like the name of a city. Well, how about I for calling it Miami? That would just be BG Key. <laughs> How about America? America what? America. America? America. Mamma mia, that's a nice. America! <laughs> I can see it all. Mamma, yeah. I can see it all now. She's going to be a great nation from, with the Purple Mountain Majesties. From a sea to a shining sea, with a pizza parlor on every corner. <laughs> America, America. Mm. Poor war, Captain Trav, excuse me, 
Copy time. <laughs> what is it, Torpedo? Are you ready to turn back yet? It's time for a siesta. Turn back quick, never. You know, of course, makes new nations great. Here's the secret. Americans never quit. They persevere. They set on. No copy time. You're going to trouble. Copy time. Then I just told you to show you overboard that you have to back before you fall off the sea of the world. Okay, Eagles? Say. Wait, what are you doing? I told you to speak. No, please. No, no, please. No. But I can't swim. It's land. It's a, it's a new world. It's America. America, America. <laughs> Quick, comrades. Come, comrades. We must go to the time machine. Please watch your staff. Where to next, Lady Liberty? I think push the button for the year 1621. We're going to Plymouth, Massachusetts.
Attention, Mr. Boom, you better start off running. Yeah, I believe you're right, Cap. You gonna sleep all day, you big old mountain ground around? <laughs> <laughs> we done found a gap in these here mountains. Huh, I think I'll call it the cucumber gap. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Boom wasn't to call it the Timberland gap. Oh, uh, whatever. Y'all come see us get here. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to go, comrades. Hurry! Next stop, 1860. Where to next, Lady, Li Lady Liberty? Mm -hmm. Sissy, I think we ought to visit one of America's. What? The winter. The winter of 1777. We're going to a place called Valley Forge to visit one of our greatest gems. Ah, now, now we're getting some place. This is the kind of information the big trees are looking for. I need to see the machine guns and the torpedoes. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. of a truly great man. Get down here, come somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Have the men been fed? Uh, well, no, sir, but you... Then give the food to my men. Oh, uh, sir, you're the general. You've got to. Soldier, give the food to my men. Yes, sir. And soldier, yes, sir. when this wretched war is over and everything seems so easy, make sure you remember the secrets of America's great sacrifice. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Many of my soldiers have lost everything. Their homes, their families, and yet they struggle on without food, without coats. They struggle and die. Please, Lord, protect the men who are left. Look long and hard at what you see today, sailors. Remember, remember the price these men paid so that we could enjoy the blessings of freedom. There it goes again. Next stop. Quickly, hurry up to the time machine. Stop, 1860. Ooh, time is running out, Bob. And the big cheese is not going to like the information we've gathered so far. I know that, you nut and mountain. Keep <laughs> 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 God takes a special interest in each one of his children. Did Abraham Lincoln really begin as just a poor boy? He sure did, General. I've never heard of anything like that. In Vulcan land, in America, I guess anybody can become president. Maybe even someone like me. I like that. That's <laughs> it, Vulcan. You are sent to America to steal a cigarette. Let's run for president. <laughs> Where's the voice of the big cheese coming from this time, Limburger? I think his voice is coming from your wristwatch. You better hold it up to your ear so the others don't hear. <sighs> That's done, Funky. Time is running out because you're, you have found so little information of any importance. You are in serious danger. Don't underestimate me. Ready is sing is here. Bucket lamb, bucket lamb, bucket lamb forever! <coughs> bucket, bucket? My mission is complete. Now, eat your, eat, eat your, eat Mickey Mouse watch all and on. Lebega, you peasant, big cheese, eat the box. Schnell! Bucket, bucket? I hate secondhand meals. 
This really ticks me off. <laughs> this is the last stop. Please, Lady Liberty, make this a good one for my sake. Let's visit the year 1879 Menlo Park, New Jersey. Where I think everyone. I'd like. I'd like everyone to meet one of the greatest inventors of all time.
Because your voice is coming from your bargain stick boss. I know. Yes, Big Cheese. <laughs> Harry. Harry. Schnell. Harry. Schnell. You would never get to the Muslim Union and get back to Brooklyn before um, you are buried with the rest of America. Colonel Oil has been given orders to start shooting in just two minutes. Ha 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 ha! General, isn't there anything we can do? The only way to stop it would be to pull the big red plug on the bad year pivot and let all the air out. But that would mean certain death for the person who tried it. Then I'll take your hot air balloon and pull that plug myself. No, it would never carry you. You're too big. Besides, we're trapped on board the Jolly Roger. <laughs> That's <laughs> just stupid. You are giving away top secret information. And for this, you shall eat your broken stick when you get back to broken land. Eat my broken stick? My power will be completely gone. <laughs> Millions and millions of puppet bullets. America is doomed. America is doomed. The puppet bullets will start shooting it at any moment. Here they come. <coughs> Here comes the <coughs> Captain Patch. Colonel Look, Colonel Wolf will shoot it right at us. Balls, balls, eyes, and see. Ha 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 ha. Look out, <coughs> Colonel Wolf is pointing his barking guns at us. Millions and millions of puppet bullets are heading this way. And they're popping and turning into giant white balls. The sky is full of them. Here comes here come the giant one headed straight toward the Jolly Roger. Everyone down on the deck. I hate them. Ah! <laughs> It's a giant, fluffy, delicious piece of buttery popcorn. Taste it. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, it's delicious. It's snowing popcorn. And it's three feet deep on the deck. Mmm, it's so tasty. I get the lifeboat full. Take it easy, mates. There's plenty to go around. Look, all of America's having a giant popcorn party. Gretchen, Gretchen Bogan, what is the meaning of this? A big cheese? I don't know quite how to tell you this, but these Americans are eating these secret weapons. You mean they like pumpkin corn? We are ruined. You are fed. Why should I get my pumpkin stick on you to Anna? Mm. Excuse me, big cheese. And the radio still in my pumpkin stick? Yes. The same I am, I'm going to make you eat. Big Cheese, do you know what the bucket stick can uh, swim? Swim? You dip and stick and you wouldn't dare. Sorry, Big Cheese. My pocket toys are over. I'll be the same. Bucket stick overboard. <laughs> Did you get all the information you need for your article? Oh, yes, Captain. I learned the secret of America's greatness will never quit. Or was it the gratitude attitude? No, 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 Karen. The secret of America's greatness is sacrifice. Or well, maybe it's freedom. But I thought it was faithful preachers. You mean the secret isn't hard work? Uncle Pat, which one of us is right? All of you are right. Each one of these truths is found in the Word of God, and that's the key. You see, mates, this country was founded by a Christian principles, and that's the real secret of America's greatness. 